If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football theme break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every Live Break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. And from our studios in Burridge, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, it's Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. Welcome in. Happy Saturday, everyone, on this uh, June 19th. Joe Aguilar, Matt Bohannon. Matt, how you doing? Joe, I'm doing well, man. It's a uh, beautiful day out there. It's been a beautiful weekend so far, so we're enjoying it. How are we you? Are re I'm doing well, thanks. Early uh, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there, yeah. and your dad's dads, and your grandpas, and uh, and all that. So, um, man, I have a question for you. When you tell people you work at UA, do they, they say, hey, you work at Under Armour? Um, yes. Do they? No. <laughs> It just dawned on me after working here six months that uh, UA is Under Armour and uh, also Ultimate Autographs. Never, never realized the UA can. It took, I'm a little slow sometimes, but uh, it's okay. that's the way it works. Uh, let me tell you what's going on here this afternoon for the next uh, hour or so, uh, depending on how long you guys want to break boxes with us and buy into spots. You already have what four series sold out. We have this is our Dutch auction item today. First time we've done a. Uh, piece of memorabilia that's not uh, football, I believe. This is the great Wade Boggs on a uh, Boston Red Sox helmet. The Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, 3,000 plus hits. The great Wade Boggs. Couple scratches on the um, ear flap. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Couple little just minor scratches. Um, but this is a, an actual helmet. You could wear this during a game. Matt, a former baseball player, college, confirmed, yes, he would wear this. Uh, this is actually a protective helmet. Chat's real quiet right now. Is anybody out there? Hello. Yeah, a lot of people watching. So this is Wade Boggs. This retails for $190. We're going to drop $20 off the top. 
Fang, 170 bucks. It's on the UA Live Breaks page. If you want to get it, it's first come, first serve. You can nab it for 170 bucks. Wade Boggs, if it doesn't uh, sell during the show, we'll drop the price, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks every 10 minutes or so uh, until it goes. But uh, a Wade Boggs Red Sox batting helmet, I think it's uh, pretty darn cool. So there you go. That's our Dutch auction item for this afternoon. Uh, we will. We have seven different series available today. What's up, Tony? Thank you for joining us. Seven different series available today, including the uh, the new mixer, uh, which we dropped last night with Donnie and Matt. The uh, new multi-sport mixer, headlined by none other than, speaking of Hall of Famers, the great Henry Aaron. It's an autographed jersey by the uh, great late... Henry Aaron, who passed away early or th early this year, I think it was uh, January or February of 2021. So that's in that mixer. They did not pull it last night. I think you guys did two or three mixers last night. So uh, that's available in this 50 box multi sport mixer. We still have about uh, three of our Flag Day series. You thought Flag Day was over after Monday? Still going on here, baby. We still have our Flag Day Authentics. We still have our Flag Day jerseys and our uh, Flag Day. Uh, uh, replica helmets. The mixer for the Flag Day did sell out last night. They did the final couple of boxes. Have our Danny Dimes Platinum helmets, um, authentic helmets, past and present jerseys, and those starting lineup uh, full-size helmets as well. Still don't know if we've seen the Justin uh, Herbert. If it has, you guys know in the chat. Uh, let us know. Look at this. Uh, look at this name in the chat, Matt. Queso Dip. Great name. Dang, that is awesome. Hey, Queso. Hey, guys. Hey, <laughs> hope for fire breaks. British Bomber, another good one. And there's Bob. Yo, what's up, Bob? How are you, sir? And how's the UA carry? Uh, we, are, we are doing well this afternoon. Uh, thank you for asking. We start every show with our virtual dice roll. You know what I like? The rule says we have to have a six or higher. I see last night you guys had a six. Joe likes a 25. Uh, no, I would like, uh, it should be a two or lower. But what do we have today? We got a uh, eight. All right, no complaints. That's right, eight. In, right in the middle. Eight will uh, will work. That's right in the middle for Joe because Joe either like six, but he hates ten or higher. So like ten. Yeah, yeah. don't give me double digits. It's like right in the middle. Don't give me double digits. We will go uh, eight on the dice roll today. Let me put that on the screen. Eight. There you go. And then uh, let's open a box. What do you say? We already got a personal two, right? We do. Yeah. That is. Um, Jeremy Elkins. What's up, Jeremy? Hope you're in the chat. Uh, we will do that next. First, we're going to do the uh, the kitchen sink mixer live break number one, and then we will do uh, Jeremy Elkins personal. So the mixers, if you're familiar with UA here in the breaks, uh, we open the box first, and then we randomize. So it's a, it's a 10 spot break. We randomize it eight times today, and then the uh, name on the top after the, uh, the eighth click will win whatever we pull. So if you're in this break, Jeremy is. He's got five spots. He's got half the uh, spots in the break. We got Michael, Misty, who has a pair of spots here, and Stuart. So I just need a box number. The boxes are on the bottom of the screen. You'll see them there. I've got four in the room. I think I'm going to need more maybe this afternoon. So the uh, the kitchen sink uh, multi-mixer, we got three, five, eight, and ten. If you're in this break, you want to call out a box number, we will uh, open that box. First one in. What do you say? What's up, gentlemen? We are, uh, we're happy to be here. How about a box number? Jeremy, you there in the chat? Jeremy, Michael, Misty, Stuart. Jeremy, we, uh, we're gonna need your personal. I hope, I hope you're in the chat, man. Yeah, give us a box number, Jeremy. Otherwise, we, uh, we'll, we'll wait, so we'll, we'll, we'll do another live break. But we need a, a box number here. Uh, this is for Bob. After an online helmet purchase last night, my budget for a few days is spent. I'll watch and live vicariously through the uh, other folks. Bob, that's cool. I love that. Again, I always say you, you don't have to. We we like obviously when people buy into breaks. We love that's why we stay in business. Uh, but uh, it's absolutely cool that just hang out with us. We appreciate uh, you not being bored with us. But we always dig seeing the memorabilia. We do. I hope we can pull that Hank here, whether today, tonight, or soon. It's going to be rocking. I've, we've had that in inventory for a while. Uh, finally glad it's in a, a series. I figured it would be a multi-sport because we really haven't done, we've done very few baseball exclusive breaks. 
Okay, yeah, so we, yeah, I just love that. We got a lot of hockey pucks in this series too. We do. We do have a lot of hockey. We pulled a uh, a Bobby Clark jersey last night. Bobby Clark jersey. Yeah. Nice. The Broad Street Bullies. Yeah. He was boy. He was awesome. He was. I know he was way before your time, Matt. But Clark was not only highly skilled, but he was a soft, tough son of a gun. Were the Flyers were the one? Were they the ones that fought in the stands? Yes. Yes. There have been a few of those. The Bruins have done like, it. <laughs> like spilled into the stands. Like yeah, I think I believe so. Yes, that that was that kind of group that they had. It would be sweet to hit a Hank Aaron's on Father's Day weekend, right? Are you kidding me? I I, I was thinking the same thing. And we can do those personals too. All right, no one's gonna call on a box number. I guess I'm gonna have to do it myself. I guess I'll have to uh, go with the randomizer here. So um, I'll put the boxes in the uh, in the uh, on the screen. I got three, five, eight. 10. Did no one, uh, no one in the break, uh, much call on a box number? All right, I'm gonna randomize it eight times. We're gonna have to do it this way four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, it's box five. It's box five. Let me grab box five in the mixer and we will get going. Box five of the mixer. Bobby Clark wasn't tough. He let Dave Schultz do his thing for him. Just dropped a box. Fortunately, I don't think anything broke. And Dave Schultz was the... Uh, Dave Schultz, who I believe... Is Dave Schultz the all-time leader in penalty, uh, penalty uh, minutes? I think so, yeah. Clark, Clark was... Yeah, Clark, he played with a little nasty. Let's put it that way, at least. He I mean, played. He had a little nasty in him. I feel like you couldn't play in that era without being a little nasty. Well, that's great. It's a great point. That's a great point, Matt. This is box five. It's light. Even I can lift it. It's light. Let's see what we have here. So we'll open it, see what's inside, and then we will uh, randomize. Could be. I don't know. You know. I don't know if the jersey is going to be. Well, the jersey should be in a box. So I don't know if this is the jersey or not. I think Wayne Gretzky kind of changed that a little bit, don't you think? With uh, who's that? Wayne Gretzky. But kind of like the smaller skill guy. Yes. He's kind of the first. Yeah, he had his guys. He had McSorley. And... All right, here we go. How about this? Congratulations. You, somebody in this break, has won an autographed uh, trophy signed by uh, none other than uh, Magic Johnson. Is that in the room, Matty? Or is that in the back? I'll take a look. Can you check in the back? That's I saw. That's one. That's a headliner. Is that is on the, uh, on the UA Live Breaks page. Is that it, Matt? Let's show this puppy off. We have it in the room. Yes, it's not. It's not Irvin. Wait, wait. It's it's Irvin, not Irvin. Yes, <laughs> you are right, Bob. Who wrote this? Who wrote that? <laughs> oh, here it is. Let's take a look at this. Thank you, Matt. I have not seen one of these. Just be before. careful with that. It gets kind of heavy. Right. I want to. Hold on. Joe, do not break the autograph trophy. Can you help? I uh, might have to have you help. I'm going to hold the box, Matt. You... Yeah, boy. There we go. There we go. Let's check, let's check this out. That's good. We're going to have to vacuum after this. I'm, yeah, we're going to have to vacuum, right. Jesus. Wow, this has uh, actually got some uh, weight to it. This is really cool. Magic Johnson, all the accolades there, and there's the auto. With a, uh, it's a Beckett hologram COA at the bottom of the trophy. I gotta tell you, that's really sweet. That is really, it's kind of hard to see it on the product cam. You can see it better to my right there. Wow. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> they spelled Irvin wrong <laughs> on the sheet. Am I shocked? No. Because we're still spelling, uh, actually, uh, the, AJ Epinesa, whatever series he's in, they finally, we finally have his name spelled correctly. I'm, so proud. I am so proud. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's get let's randomize the names here. And again, Jeremy's got five spots here. Jeremy, this could be yours, but maybe not. Let's find eight times. British bomber, huge Lakers fan. And I think everyone's a fan of Magic Johnson, right? Absolutely. Five, six, seven. Next click. 
wins, uh, the name on top wins the Magic uh, Trophy. It's Misty. Misty. She overcomes the odds. Uh, Jeremy at five. It's Misty Frentes. Love that name, too. Misty, are you in the chat? I think Misty um, bought a spot, was it maybe early, uh, between the shows, early, early this morning or after the show last night, and she just won this Magic Johnson signed uh, trophy in the uh, in the mixer. Congratulations. Wow, awesome. Really sweet. If I lay it down, it's going to I might break it. So I I am not going to lay it down. Yeah, it's got a little bit of weight to it, so we'll uh, we'll deal with that out after the show in terms of boxing it. Yeah, there you go. Misty, um, who had two spots in that break, and she just cashed in. Really nice. Kitchen sink. There you go. All right, give me a second. So I want to box this up so I don't uh, break. Oh, there's there, there's the back at COA. And then again, it's on the, uh, the front of the uh, trophy at the bottom there. Well, how about that, Matt? That's so cool. That's how you start a show, right? That is how you start a show. Let me get this out of the way. So uh, I don't step on it. Or... And again, we... <laughs> Matt, am I on vacuum duty today? I think I am. Um, I gotta, I'm going to be busy after the show. Okay, we're going to have to. Get... That styrofoam just exploded oh, on us there. Right? Got over my shirt. <laughs> Woo! How about that? That's a headliner. That is. That's a headliner. Along with, boy, this is a, yeah, speaking of the headline, how about a Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, 16 by 20 photo? We told you about the Aaron signed jersey. How about a Mike Madonna jersey, hockey jersey? Oh, yeah. Really cool. I think, did you guys do the Calvin Johnson? Was that a photo last night? It's, no, the Calvin Johnson's a helmet. The Calvin Johnson is a helmet. Yeah. Peyton Manning, 16 by 20. Mm -hmm. Got that in there. An autographed baseball by uh, reigning AL Cy Young winner, Shane, don't call me uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. Jeremy Elkins, are you in the Are you in the chat? Jeremy, are you out there? Because he's got a, a personal for a Danny Dimes Platinum Helmet. He does. But I don't know if uh, Jeremy is in the chat right now. All right. In the meantime, we, we will move on, and we will do uh, we'll do Flag Day Jersey live break number one. So the mixer, what did I just say? That was five? Yeah. We did five. Joe with a good uh, little pull there. Well, that was the randomizer's work, but... Uh... All right. Well, let me put this in there for me. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Let's do the Flag Day Jersey live break number one. If you're in this break and want to call it a box... The jerseys, the boxes I have, we are uh, down to our final three in the uh, Flag Day jersey. I have 46, 48, and 50. 46, 48, and 50. Let's randomize the names. Jeremy Elkins, hello. Misty with the big hit there. Seven and eight. There's our list here. And Matt, I see you guys did not um, do the Michael Irvin Riddle jersey. Um, not jersey. The, um, the Riddle jersey series, but to win the Michael Irvin Platinum. So I guess we're still waiting for a couple of names. So hopefully we do that soon because that's, we're way past the riddle. We're way past it. 50 for America. There you go, Tony. 50 on the box for the jersey. Let's do it. 50 out of 50. Let me grab the jersey. Oh, you know what? I got them right next to me. They were, there were only three left. So I just grabbed, I just put them down by my, uh, by my feet next to my dog helmet. You want to take that off the screen? Take 50 off the screen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. On the uh, the Flag Day jersey, that'll leave us just uh, two. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know if you knew this, but uh, 50 minus 1 is 2. So now we are, are down to our uh, final two boxes of the Flag Day. So this is for uh, this is the Flag Day Jersey Mixer 1. Let's do it. Box 50 on a 50. Good luck, everyone here. Good luck. Here we go. All right, this is for the, uh, you know, we're still dealing with the, the flag, with the construction flag. Uh, this is Frank Gore. So this is, if you win this, you uh, will have a chance to be entered into the Frank Gore replica helmet top spot break, or we'll give you 10 bucks and you a cash. Everyone's been doing the, uh, the rent, the, uh, the, Danny Cash last night picked the UA he cash. He took, Danny Cash took the 10 bucks in cash. He did. Fitting, fitting that Danny Cash. Wants the cash. Hence his name, wants the cash. Uh, JSA COA. This you don't have to worry about. That's uh, just in case you won this retail. We have here, we have Robert Mathis, Colt. Brines. The, uh, the Brines. There you go. That's right. They're Colts fans. Nick and Katrina, Robert Mathis, uh, great outside linebacker. Big, big uh, pass rush guy. Here you go. Colts are the uh, AFC South. And AFC South is Ryan Wimmer. Ryan, congratulations. Ryan, are you in the chat? I'll put him in the spot for the Frank Gore. All right. So you don't have to do it. Oh, you got it? Okay, it gotcha. It. Ryan Wimmer, since Gore has played for 100 years, which team is his signature on? Uh, great point, Chris. Um, I want to say it's a 49ers. I think it's a 49ers. And I think, I think it's an Eclipse, but I'm not sure. Do we, we have it. that in the uh, in the house, Matt? Robert Mathis. You know, in Chicago, we always talk about uh, we love Charles Peanut Tillman, the former Bears defensive back, cornerback, because of the Peanut Punch uh, and all the forced fumbles. This guy is the all-time leader. Uh, I'm pretty positive of that. All-time leader for uh, forced fumbles, Robert Mathis. Let's go out to Ryan. It is an Eclipse 49ers. It is an Eclipse Niners. Thank you for confirming that, Matt. That's in the room, actually, right? Yep. Ryan Wimmer with the uh, Robert Mathis jersey. That was box 50 out of 50. Two left in that. Oh, I. Joe, don't ruin the mouse pad. There we go. All right, that was uh, our second break of the afternoon. Still nothing from Jeremy in the chat? Nope. Oh, Dwight Freeney. Yeah, Bob. Dwight Freeney could really get after you. Talk about guys who get after you, get after the quarterback. The, way, uh, the great Dwight Freeney. That was jersey number one. All right, Jeremy Elkin, we're still uh, waiting for you, bro. Give us a box number on the Danny Dines for the the personal. Let's do the, the uh, Flag Day replica helmet break. Uh, live break number one uh, this afternoon. We got Richard, Michael, Mark, Winston Skinner. Great name. Uh, Zach Nielsen and Christopher Stanhope. What's up, Chris? Winston Skinner. And that's Dang. Great. That's a great name. Right? Love that. It's like Winston Churchill with Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. The great combo. Uh, too much. <laughs> Eight times today in the randomizer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. All right, how about a box number here for the uh, the Flag Day replica helmet? Here we go. How about a box number here? The replica helmets I have in the room. I think we still have lots in that replica helmet series. Uh, two, nine, twelve, and fourteen. Yeah, because those go up. Those go up to fifty. We're still uh, have a couple boxes in the single digits. Two, nine, twelve, and fourteen. Uh, Brad, did we get your personal? Uh, did we get his personal, Matt? Brad Eggers? We did, we did, yes. We did. Brad, we'll get to that shortly. 
If you're in the Flag Day Mixer, what do you say? Richard, Michael, Mark, how about a box number? Winston, Zach, and Chris Stanhope. We have, for the uh, the rep helmets, 2, 9, 12, and 14. Anybody? I'm going to lower the Dutch to 155. 155 for the Wade Boggs Red Sox batting out. Chris, boy. 12. Thank you, Chris. We'll do box 12 on the uh, replica. 12. I'm grabbing 12. Did you take it off the screen? I'm going to right now. Flag Day Rep. If I can find it. Hold on. There it is. That's take 12 off the board. All right, there we go. All right, good luck here. 12 of 50 on the uh, replica helmets. Chris, again, thanks for calling out the box number. Tony doesn't like the box numbers. Let me show you the flag. Oh, it's, it's Frank Gore again. Frank Gore. Will he play another season? He's played in, you know, is he up to like 16 seasons? It's something crazy. Yeah. Crazy. JSA COA. This guy's name, for whatever reason, always... Gets me, gets me tongue tied. I think I finally have it. Naheem Hines. Colt. Another Colt. There you go. Nick. Katrina. It's Colt stat here at UA. Naheem Hines. Little go. running back, kind of like multi purpose guy. Catches the ball, runs it a little. It's a, a speed replica helmet on this uh, nice Colt uh, white helmet. Colt. AFC South again. And this time it's Zach Nielsen. What's up, Zach? This is a guy I think a lot of guys... I don't play fantasy ball because I would lose. Um, but uh, I think he's a, he's a nice little pickup for guys in fantasy. Am I, am I wrong on that? That's correct. Yeah, Bob, good Swiss Army knife guy, right? Kind of like a little... Like our Tariq Cohen in Chicago here. Right. I put his name in the, in the break. You got it. Thank you, Matt. Zach Nielsen with the Naheem Hines. <laughs> Tony, look at that. Look at those little, little, like, little devilish faces there, Tony. <laughs> Third Colt in 24 hours, someone trade me. <laughs> is that is that uh, British Bomber? Is that Zach? I think that's uh, Thomas Whitman. Whiteman? Or is that Aaron? I, I think it's. Who, who is Queso Dip? Now that's just too funny. He's a new guy, too. I think his name is Andrew, maybe. Queso dip. Man, now I am so hungry for some uh, oh, it's fantastic. chips and dip with queso. Man, man. I love queso dip. There's Zach. Thank you, Zach. You're welcome. Do you want... I didn't even ask. Do you want the spot? Yeah, Zach, do you want the uh, spot in the uh, Frank Gore replica helmet break? Or do you want 10 bucks in UA cash? Your, your choice. Let us know, Zach. Sure, top spot for, for Gore. All right, you're in there already. Thank you, Zach. Let me show you this, uh, the Dutch again. This is the Wade Boggs. Red Sox. This is an actual helmet. I want a full-size uh, black and red Patriots Nikhil Harry yesterday. Gotcha. Wade Boggs helmet. Got it. it has a uh, couple little scratches. One right there, right by the, uh, the ear hole. And then a couple of just like little blemishes. These are tough to even wipe. You wipe them down and then, you know, they get a smudge on them. But the autographs are great. There's nothing wrong with the autograph. Again, it retails for 190 bucks. We have it. Matt just dropped it to what, 165? 155. 155. 155. Wade box. The uh, Hall of Famer. Also won a couple of gold gloves during his career. Yep. Wade box. 
Wasn't he a notorious gambler too? Uh he had some issues. I don't know. I think was he was Wade Boggs a gambler? Was it Grand Blair? I think it was. Uh, I think it was women. Lots of seriously. He was a womanizer, huh? He he was. Matt, would you have struck out Wade Box? Question. Would I? Have <laughs> yeah, out Matt was a pitcher. Yeah, we had a whole conversation about the uh, the sticky substances last night. Oh, time. okay. And um, it was a good conversation. Good. Hey, that that you can you can discuss that for two hours at a bar, just talking to people, right? Get a little lemonade and uh, or your or your beverage of choice. Would I have struck out Wade Box? I think he could hit lefty and still get a hit off me. That's how good he was, I think. <laughs> yes. I don't think I could shot. Well, he was lefty. Or righty, I mean. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, yeah, I got you. He was a big-time drinker. Supposedly drank 50-plus beers on a coast-to-coast uh, -coast flight, according to Christopher Wells. Yeah, I thought... I, yeah, okay. I knew he... Uh, I, I, I forgot about that. I, and I, seriously, I think he had a problem, not a... I guess you call it a problem, um, with... Um, he, he was... A little unfaithful. He was an addict. He, he was an addict. Without um, going into too many details about that, you can go down a rabbit hole with Wade Boggs. Bottom line was he was a fabulous hitter. He was a fabulous hitter. I mean, hitter. wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, we're doing kitchen sink. Oh, you know what? Let's do... Can you hold on a minute? Jeremy, Jeremy's got 100 spots here. Again, he's, got, he's got six. Six. Let's do a personal here. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and Jeremy, are you in? The, uh, we're still waiting for Jeremy. But in the meantime, Brad Egger. Brad, you have a, a box number for the kitchen sink here? You want to give us a box number? Brad, if you're in the, Brad or Jeremy, we need a, a box number, please. And then we can uh, open up your uh, your personal here. Brad's got 24. Atta boy, Brad. 24 on the mixer. So i got to go to the, uh, the back room for that. Let me uh, give me uh, about 15 seconds. 24... On the uh, kitchen sink mixer, 24. Hold on. 24, that's a good number. Still got all, pretty much all the headliners available. I think we got, we just pulled the Magic Johnson. I think that's the only one we pulled so far. So, still got a lot of cool stuff here. Willie Mays? Willie Mays Hayes. Oh, yeah, for the 24. What number was Willie Mays Hayes? Oh, Willie Mays just turned 90. I don't have it. We don't have it, Brad. Do you remember what, what number Willie Mays Hayes was? Willie Mays Hayes. Uh, From Major I, League. Was he zero? Was he zero? I don't, know. I don't know. Is that in the chat? No. He just said Willie Mays and it made me think of Willie Mays Hayes. Oh, gotcha. Brad, sorry, we don't have 24. We don't have 21 through 25. So he said 23. 20, we don't have 23. Son of a gun. I think the uh, lowest number I have in the 20s is 20, what did I say, 26? I think 26. In the room, I've got uh, three, eight, and ten, and I got some more um, in the teens. Twenty-seven. All right, Brad. Thanks for your patience. Twenty-seven. Christopher Wells. He might have been double zero. Now that you say that, because um, Ricky Vaughn was ninety-nine. Willie Mays Hayes might have been double zero. Now that you say that. I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. Got it. 27 I have. All right. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, everyone, for your patience. Here we go. 27 of 50, uh, 55. This is from Brad. This is the, uh, the kitchen sink mixer. I don't know what this is. 
got some weight to it. It's not a shot. We don't have a signed shot put, do we, uh, in the series? Oh, we got hockey pucks. There you go. We got hockey pucks. Brad, I don't know if you're a hockey guy. Let's see. Boy, I have not pulled any hockey stuff in so long, Matt. I am, I'm like, I'm like a kid at Christmas. We have here, all right, we got Matt Hunwick. This is on a Penguins puck. Matt Hunwick. We got uh, Tage Thompson. I don't know if he's still playing the league. He, I think he might be. St. Louis Blues puck. And then we got uh, Morgan Riley. This is on a um, 100th Centennial Classic game. Morgan Riley, good defenseman for the uh, the Maple Leafs. Yeah. Morgan Riley, he's a good player. Very good player. The other guys, Tage Thompson, uh, kind of a journeyman guy, but, a, you know, on a Blues puck. Uh, I got to tell you, even Hockey Joe here, Matt Hunwick, I'm a little stumped. On Matt Hunwick, it's on a Penguins puck. I think he... Uh... I don't know if he's still playing, but he played within the last 20 years. Kind of a jur journeyman uh, defenseman, defenseman I, I believe. Yeah. The Morgan Riley puck, I mean, I, I think this is probably the best value here in this. Um, yeah, let's say a, a Maple Leafs. I don't know who Toronto played. Oh, it was they, oh a Red Wings. Red Wings Maple Leafs game for the uh, 100th Centennial Classic. Morgan Riley. Yeah, Matt Hunwick stopped playing. 2018-2019 was his last year. Okay. They played a good... 2018-2019? Defenseman, played, right? Yeah. Played 12 years in the league. 535 games. Um, Boston, Colorado, Rangers, Toronto, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo. All right, there you go. But yeah, Morgan Riley is definitely the, uh, the name there for sure. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if you're a hockey fan. We got, we got, again, Morgan Riley is a, is a Maple Leaf. Uh, this is uh, Hunwick on a uh, Penguins puck and Tage Thompson on a uh, St. Louis Blues puck. Don't know if you're a hockey guy or not, but there you go. I know we got hockey fans who uh, watch the breaks. And each of those, the COAs on the back of the puck, I didn't, I just didn't open all three of them. There you go, Brad. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, absolutely. How about Jeremy? Still nothing from Jeremy Egger? Mm, no. Jeremy? Jeremy. Does anyone know Jeremy? <laughs> if you know Jeremy, give him a call. Text him. How about kitchen sink mixer number two? Uh, we've got three, eight, and ten in the room here. So um, in this break, we have Tyler Wright's got a pair of spots. Trenton. Burns, another great name, Trenton Burns. Sounds like either a lawyer or an NBA guy. Uh, he has two. And then Jeremy, Jeremy's got six. Uh, six spots. And I don't know if Jeremy's watching the uh, the breaks now, so I don't know if he's going to be able to call out a number here because we're still waiting for, the, for him to call out a number for the personal. So, Trenton, Tyler, you want to help me out here? Hello. A fire in the New Jersey capital. What's going on there, Bob? Trenton. Trenton Burns. Do you get it? Uh, oh. The capital of New Jersey is Trenton. Trenton Burns. I got... Thank God Matt is here. Thank God Matt is here to explain things to Joe. That's why we have him here. He's kind of an interpreter at, at points. <laughs> that is definitely a... Uh, My bad, Bob. That's definitely a dad joke. My bad. <laughs> but I should have known coming from Bob, because Bob has one of the best sense of humors... Uh, that uh, frequents us in the chat. He, he really does. Trenton. I'm still laughing at the, uh, when I said I love a guy with an ex in his name, and Bob said, I, my, my, my friend has uh, two exes. He's, he's divorced twice. So, uh. <laughs> Jeremy. There he is. Jeremy, hello. We were well, waiting for you, Jeremy. We need a box number for your personal, and then if you want to, you or Tyler or Trent want to call in a box number from the kitchen sink mixer number two. I feel like it's, I feel like it's on Trenton Burns now to call a box number. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Trenton Burns. How about a box number here? I got three in the room on the mixer. Three, eight, and ten. A fire in the New Jersey capital. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> Why didn't I get that right away? I'm I'm being too literal so There he is. He's here. There. There is Jeremy. He <laughs> called down three on the uh Jeremy's three for the um for this break or for your personal? 
This break or the personal? You I, want think, I think Trenton called 10. Oh, there he is. Okay, Trenton called 10. Thank you, Trenton. Thank you, brother. Trenton, uh, <laughs> Bob decided to use your name as a pun. So. All right, we're going to do 10 on the mixer. Here we go. 10 on the mixer. All right, here we go. Yeah. Trenton got it with 10. 10 of 55. It's another light box. Was... Here we go. All right, good luck, everyone. It's really just so what? We got three guys here? Yeah. Jeremy Trenton and uh, Tyler Wright. We have here, we have a photo. Are this? Oh, this is a Mike Tyson boxing photo punch out. Now this is something different. There you go. Look oh. at this. Have you seen one of these before, Maddie? Um, in inventory, yes. Yeah. Okay. I've not seen this. It's a photo, fourteen by uh, eleven. Back at COA, there you see at the bottom. It's the auto of the great Mike Tyson. So, something different. I bet you'd be the first kid on your block to have one of these. Yeah. Right? All right, let's randomize. It's pretty cool. It's, it's Tyson. Heck, man. You get Tyson's autograph on a uh, napkin. It's cool. Let's see what you do, how we do here. Travis wants that. Like a Super Mario thing, kind of like, right? Yeah, they're yeah. right, because there's, there's Mario there on the right. Mm-hmm. All right, there's the list. There it is, so you can see it. Eight times, top spot. Wins the uh, autographed Tyson uh, photo. Six, seven, next click. It's Jeremy, Jeremy gets it. There you go, Jeremy. Well, Jeremy, I thought, ooh, we'll see here. Jeremy, what did I say, six spots here? Mm-hmm. He had five in the last one, he did not win. This time, uh, he does. That game was simply amazing. Uh, that's a oh, bit. Super Mario? I think it was the Punch-Out game. Oh, oh, this with the Tyson. Yeah, with the Tyson. I never played, did you ever play that? It's a little bit before my time. I did not play it, no. If I heard, I know what it is. Yeah. All right, there you go. Now, Jeremy, we will, uh, we could uh, take care of your personal. I just need a box number. I think he said three, maybe. Yeah, Jeremy, you do want to do three on the uh, the personal? Oh, there you go. Twenty-five. I, I think I don't have twenty-five. Yeah, so we don't have twenty-one through twenty-five. Correct. I think I have twenty-six. We just did twenty-seven, I think, for Brad. Correct. Yeah, 21 through 25 are, are gone. Sorry about that, Jeremy. Either they went last night or they went retail. Could have been a retail. We just did 26. Did we just do 26 or was oh, that no, 27? We oh, we did 27. You're right, you're right. I think I got 26. Yeah, we did 27. Let me, let me grab okay. 26. Hold on. I'm gonna clo I'm gonna lower the Dutch auction. Oh shoot! Yeah, you're right. It is a Danny Dimes. I'll tell Joe when he comes back in. Thanks, Bob. Hey, Joe. Yeah. It's a Danny Dimes personal, not a kitchen sink. Oh. Whew. Thank you. So now you, I got 26 in the room. Do you have 25? Because you called 25 first. I do have 25 for Danny Dimes. Yeah. I do. Thanks. I have 26, too. Yeah, because those are on the screen. It's 25. Thanks, Bob. 25. I assumed it was, uh, we've been doing a little kitchen sink running, but it's 25. 25 of the Danny Dimes. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you, Bob. 
Yeah, got Jeremy, it. we got 25 for you. All right, so that's 25 right there. All right. Glad we caught that. Yes. I'm glad Bob caught that. I'm telling you, the, the, the guys in the chat, they are, they are the producer in the year. I love it. I love it. 25 out of 50. The metal of the mixer is out of 55 boxes. I don't know if I mentioned. I thought it was out of 50, but it's out, it's out of 55. So this is Jeremy's personal for the platinum helmet, <clears throat> authentic helmet break. This is who we have here for you, Jeremy. A little some fire for the kid. If I can find the. Uh, all right, I, I got to find the tag. Here it is. Oh, it's in the bottom. Anyway, it's a cowboy. Oh, it's nice. It's a dual-signed Bob Lilly Mel Renfro. Got, it was so buried in the bag. Here, I got it. This is, these are huge bags. I mean, you can, you can put a lot of garbage in these. Yeah. Don't throw these on. Here we go. JSA, COA. But, yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, this is nice, man. It's a speed authentic. Nice. The two Hall of Fame Cowboys who were, play, were teammates in, uh, in the 70s, maybe even in the 60s, too. Bob Lilly, the uh, Mr. Cowboy, great defensive uh, lineman. Probably played a little tackle and, uh, and and then Mel Renfro, the corner. Class of 96 Hall of Fame. That's really nice on this Cowboys Speed Eclipse. Dear man, I think that's pretty cool. Hope you like that, man. Two great players Two great gentlemen. These guys are really like guys, guys, you know? Yeah. Who's they D? There you go, Bob. Do you have a card for them or no? Uh, I might. Jeremy might throw this on. Let me check, uh, Maddie. Let me write down the info for, for Jeremy. The, the old cards are always fun to uh, to see, aren't they? They are. Hold on. We still got a lot of uh, Panini ones. Look at all the Panini ones we got. I got more in the bag. Yeah, the Panini ones. That's on the website too. We have to uh, the boys supplement the cards. Hold on. What happened to them, uh, Joe's cards? Son of a gun. I do not know what happened. All the drawers are messed up. Made a different drawer. I think um, they're all over the place. Son of a gun. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right. We'll look I'll after look afterwards, yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> Someone brought in a uh, NFL football card, like a bunch of cards. They're in the they're still over there by your. Uh, yeah. I don't. We don't. Do we know who brought those in yet? No idea. Guys from basically the the nineties. Lots of guys from the nineties. We were like little boys. Just well, I should say we. I was like a little boy going through those cards. They're always fun to look at. All right, Jeremy Elkins with the uh, personal. Act. Good one, Jeremy. Renfro. Uh, Lily dual side. There you go. Thanks for doing that. Bob, best round of the year yesterday. a boy, what'd you shoot? If I'm not breaking 90, like breaking 90 is my potential. But lately, I've been like that low 90s. I don't know. I got to get it going. I got to get it going. Let's break the jersey, Jeremy says. Let's do um, Let's do the Flag Day Authentic, number one. We'll do that. Let's do that, and then we'll do maybe the Kitchen Sink jersey. There's the mixer. We got number three filled up. Let's do the uh, Flag Day Authentic. Sound good? Sure.
All right, there's a list. Good luck here as we randomize. Then we'll do the uh, do the jersey, the authentic, rather authentic. Six, seven, eight. There we go. And how about a box here? This is our first Flag Day Authentic Helmet Break of the Afternoon. 82. There you go. That's where I need to get, Bob. That's where I need to get. 82. Nice. That's really good. How about a box there? If you're in this break, we got Stuart Winston, Christopher Wells, Danny Cash. What's up, Danny? Micah. What's up, Micah and Bob? Box number here for the Authentic the Flag Day, we've got um, 10, 20, 22, and 24. We still have lots of Authentics to get through for this Flag Day. We do. That goes up to 50. All the Flag Day series go up to 50. And we've got, uh, so we're just, we're, are we even halfway through that? 10, Bob calls out. Thank you, Bob. 10. 10 on the Flag Day Authentic. All right, I'm posting the last break for the Flag Day jersey. Oh, there you go. Last box. Ten. Bob, thanks for calling the box number. Let's do it. Alright, this will be uh, the helmet spot. It's, oh, it's Dak. It's Dak Prescott. There you go. Trash can. It's a uh, Beckett COA. This is fire. If I can get it out of the bag. Good grief. It's DK Metcalf. It's a uh, Seahawks hit. NFC West. NFC West, that's uh, Stuart uh, Shagano. I think Stuart bought his spots after the show last night. So I don't know, Stuart, are you in the uh, are you in the, in the chat? Look at this baby. DK Metcalf on his old Miss College helmet. That's cool. Sh shut this, they shut uh, authentic. I dig this. Matt, you know me and my colors. Is that, um, don't tell me. Is it, is it blue or is it teal? It's blue. It's blue. Yep. I'm not good. I think this is red or, or maroon. It's a red stripe. Yeah. Red. Red stripe on the crown. This is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This is really nice. Stuart, are you in the chat, man? Nice hit here. DK Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks, wide receiver. I'll put him in the spot unless he says no. Who was it? What, what Frank? Uh, this was uh, Flag Day Authentic. Oh, no, it was, uh, I'm sorry, Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. That sure is, man. It's a beautiful helmet. Love that. Stuart, congrats. Back at COA. That's another one. I just, what, some of these helmets I just want to leave out the entire show. I've said that in the past. Yeah. Well, we get like two or three. Like, let's just leave them out. Let's look at them. It's like you take it out. It's like, oh, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, you got to put it back in the bag. All right. It's like, mom, can we can we bring that dog home? No, you can just look. You can pet the dog in the store, and we're not we're not taking it home. All right. All right. You remember those days? You ever those days? You go to the pet store? Oh yeah. I'm lowering the Dutch to 140. Now, is there a little more trivia there in the chat? I don't know. He might just be asking us. Are you asking us or are you... You know what? Do you answer this one? I don't. Why? He's called Wolverine? Maybe like an X. He's an X-Men? He thinks he's an X-Men? I don't know. Could be. He's built like... He's like a mutant. Yeah, because that would make sense, right? Because he kind of built that way. 
Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know, Bob. That's a good question. My guess is he probably thinks he's built like an X-Men. He's built like Wolverine. Yeah, cause he, he, you know, he's all body team. Right. DK Metcalf. That, that'd be my guess. I don't know for sure. Let's flag the authentic, number one. All right, how about... Um, we've done the two personals. Mm-hmm. And then I kind of think... Uh, should take 10 off the uh, flag the authentic. Let me do that. All right, how about uh, Flag Day jersey number two, our penultimate box. Penultimate, Joe, the old writer, editor, uh, often misused word. People think it's better than ultimate. It's not. I mean, second to last. Penultimate box. Right, so we have one left, Matt? Yes. There you go. <laughs> I just like to share. That's all. Now, Bob, that sounds good to me, right? That uh, ice called Wolverine. I don't, I don't think we've seen anything in the room here uh, signed with that inscription by DK Metcalf. Nope. Not that I've seen either. Seven and eight. There we go. All right, there we go. How about a box number here? This is our second break on the jersey. Only got two, two left, 46 and 48. What's it going to be, 46 or 48? Because I fixed my uh, mat here. Not this mat, this mat. That's mat, this is a mat. 46 or 48 on the jersey, what do you say? Christopher Wells, Zach Nielsen, Michael, Danny Boy, Danny, 48. Another good name, Denny Meadows. Denny Meadows. Is Denny in this break? He is. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There's Denny. 48. <laughs> 48 it is. 48. Bang bang. What what are we what are we at the on the uh on the Wade Boggs helmet, Matt? I just lowered it to 140. 140 for the great Wade Boggs. And that an uh, authentic helmet. 48 on a 50. On the jersey. Flagged it. Well, Bob's got a lot of knowledge here on Metcalf in the chat. This is. He's, this flag thing didn't work out too well. I'm just going to tell you right now. Uh, it's sticking. It's Mike Singletary. I'll show you. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just live and learn. It's, nice. Mike, it's Mike Singletary, the Hall of Famer, former Chicago Bear. For that, so that's, if you win this, you're going to be entered into a helmet break to win a uh, uh, replica helmet for Singletary. Uh, a, rep, a, replica, a replica helmet of Singletary. JSA COA. We have a dolphin. Smoke weed every day. It's Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. Dolphins hit. Who has the uh, AFC East? Uh, that's Jeremy Elkins. Jeremy, here you go, brother. Ricky Williams. He was a man. Nice. Ricky Williams, there you go, Jeremy. Jeremy, do you want the spot in the Singletary? Jeremy, let us know. I'm assuming you want the spot in the, uh, the top spot break to have a chance to win the Singletary replica helmet, or we can give you ten bucks in UA cash. The Bears. He wants the Bears. There you go. All right, I'll throw you in there. Singletary. Good, uh, good Saturday show here, right? Yeah. Oh, speaking of uh, memorabilia, we will have a new mini helmet series dropping uh, tonight. In time for tonight's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, 
So, so new new mini helmet series. It's at, uh, I think it's a fifty. New mini helmets tonight. Because right now for today, unless there's a mini helmet in the uh, the multi sport mixer, there might be. We uh, do not have any mini helmets available for this afternoon show. But tonight, that changes. We have seven different series available right now on the website. Uh, not counting the uh, Panini One card. If, you, if you're interested in the Panini One cards, we'll do those tomorrow, Donnie and Gear Bear. Did, who, by the way, did you see this, Matt? Who did this? <laughs> who put, put this together? I think Donnie. Did Donnie do that? This is the Sunday team. Matt, I don't see one for you and me. For this. What, what happened? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. You sure? Well, I'm lying a little bit. But, you know, hey, it's cool. <laughs> rubber bands from the hockey pucks. Don't need them. But we'll save them. Don't throw out rubber bands. Always very useful. Yeah. Very useful. All right, there you go, Jeremy, with the uh, Ricky Williams hit in the Flag Day jersey. Our, down to fi our final box. And that's on the uh, the website right now, yes. ultimateautographs.com. Yeah, there you go, Bob. Look out for Quadrina tonight. Four left in the Danny Dimes, uh, Joseph's telling us. Yeah, Joey wants to uh, wants to get through that one. So four spots remaining there. So that was the uh, the Jersey 2. Yeah, we're on the mixer. We're on the mixer, number three. I just have two boxes in the room here, I think, on the mixers. Three and eight. Let me check real quick here. Looks like you got it. Because it, it looks like I have more up here. Yeah. I got three, eight, and oh my, twenty. Oh, here's twenty six in the kitchen sink. It was in the room already. My good. And then I am not that tall. The shelf. I got nine and twenty six as well. We might need to get a touch tool here. I know. I'm only five nine. 9 and 26 on the mixer as well here. <laughs> yeah, we have new shelving in the studio here. And uh, to get to the all the way to the back, you need to be about 6 feet. You're about 6 feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm 5'9". I'm a little short. So I, got, I need a little step stool. I got longer arms too, so. Did the two missing uh, clues for the uh, Riddle Jersey break come out of hiding yet? <laughs> Are we still at eight? Chris, that's a great question. Um, I'm, I'm I think they're still in hiding, right? I think. Because I thought we were going to do it Thursday night. Yeah, I think it's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow I, with the I, boys? I said it was going to happen Thursday. Didn't happen. I thought it was too. You, I, but I know we had a, 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 a drop dead date on that. Where either you had to submit yeah, it's the tomorrow. clue. I think it's, it's tomorrow. tomorrow the that's, is the drop dead date? Yeah. Okay. So I. Sometimes. Yeah. We're the last to know. Yeah, right. I mean, if you, uh, exactly, if they don't submit the clue, yeah, now you have, uh, right, you just, your odds increased 20% or something like that, right? 10, because you'd have a 10% a chance yeah. to just improve. I should not be playing with math. It's like uh, matches. Like, Joe, don't, don't, don't play with me. But yeah, point taken, Christopher Wells. So I need a box number here for the uh, the mixer, kitchen sink. So I got three, uh, the screen will show it, um, the, the crawl at the bottom. Three, eight, nine, and 26. Three, eight, nine, and 26 on the mixer. So we'll open the box first, then we'll randomize this list here, which includes uh, that a boy Rudy calls out three. Christopher Stanhope's got, uh, what, five spots here. Christopher Wells, uh, Rodolfo Acedo, I love that. Uh, Dave Harris, Andrew Horn as well. Uh, all right, beautiful. Thanks, guys, for calling out three, three on the uh, the mixer. Got a little weight to it. Let me take three off the screen. Seven Chris's. Yeah. Yes. Chances are Chris, a hey, Chris, is going to win this break, but we don't know. Three out of fifty-five. For the multi-sport mixer, again, if you eat, among the items in the mixer, a Hank Aaron signed jersey. This is not it. I think this is a basketball. 
Unless it's a really big soccer ball. It was like unless Tom Brady inflated a soccer ball, got uh, it's over. We did have a soccer ball, didn't we? Uh, we did. Oh, did, I'm sorry. It is a helmet. I thought it was a ball. It's um, uh, I think that's Roquan Smith. Hold on. <laughs> where where are the tags? Or maybe it's not the. Oh, it's David Montgomery. It's not Roquan. It's David Montgomery, the current Bears running back. Haven't seen too much of David Montgomery stuff here, but this is a uh, an Eclipse rep helmet, Speed Eclipse, David Montgomery. He's good. Actually rushed for 1,000 yards. Had a great second half for our Bears in 2020, his second year out of uh, in his going into his third season out of uh, Iowa State. What do you think of the auto? Um, not good. Not good. David, um, see me after class. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna work on your signature a little bit. But uh, real good running back, uh, and I think he's gonna have a, have a be uh, better twenty uh, twenty one season. What do you think, Matt? I agree. He kind of didn't he come on and say he wanted to have a better. Future? He did. Like he worked on his speed. Yeah. So he's got a bright future, I think, with the Bears. All right. So let's see. Uh, yeah, this is a nice hit, actually. Well, that's true, Bob, because now that we're playing a 17-game uh, regular season, a thousand, even now, even with 16 games, it's not what it used to be when they used to play, uh, you know, 14, 14 games. But still, I was, I'd like to look too at uh, yards per carry, and Montgomery, I'm pretty sure, was over, well over four. He, he really, he's a good um, yards after contact guy. Yeah, now, when you have the Bears' offensive line, you get hit up, hit a lot. <laughs> but once the Bears improved their offensive line, um, he, he was much better. And then uh, he had some really good plays. So, anyway, uh, eight, top spot, break here. Five, six, seven. Next click, name on top, wins the, uh, the helmet. It's Chris Gibbs. Chris Gibbs, oh, he overcame uh, the Chris Stanhope, who uh, Stanhope had five there, but it's Chris Gibbs who uh, who wins the David Montgomery helmet. Chris Gibbs, congrats, Chris. Congrats, Chris. I think is he a, uh, a Packer fan? I think so, right? Yeah, Jim Brown for a thousand yards in a twelve game season. We had a mixture a few months ago with um, a Jim Brown signed like sixteen by twenty that with, with tons of inscriptions on it. That was amazing. Would love a Jim Brown signed anything. <laughs> Chris Roll, you said my last name wrong. Chris Gibbs, nice hit. Chris Gibbs. Chris had Chris had one spot in this break. Sometimes that's all it takes, right? Yep. Are we seeing this on the Congratulations! You've received 100 messages today. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Thank you for telling us, though. Have you really? You think that's right? 100 messages today? Well, you and I, you and I were studying, talking back and forth. That was fifty right there. So, <laughs> he's a Packer fan. I'll use a Bears helmet as a. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better than what uh, some people said. One guy said, "I I don't want to name names," but he would do with a uh, Chiefs helmet if he wanted or something. It was not good. No. All right, Chris Gibbs, one spot. And wins a uh, replica Eclipse helmet of Bears running back David Montgomery. Kitchen sink mixer number three. I think we're all caught up. You're all caught up on this um, Saturday. Gorgeous day. Yep. Great, great Father's Day weekend. U.S. Open. U.S. Open. I anyone watching the U.S. Open? I had not felt the buzz yet. Yeah, I haven't uh, watched a little bit on Thursday, but I, I can't say I've watched them a lot. And no, you know the big names. The last time I checked yesterday, or after round two, were they were not. 
No, yeah. Yeah, there are no big names there. Give you a little update here on um, what we have available. If anything is close to being uh, sold out. We uh, don't. We have six spots left in starting lineup, in Flag Day Authentic, in Past and Present Jersey, and the uh, Kitchen Sink Multi Mix. Those are 10 spot breaks. Uh, live break um, number two. I think the closest we got is Danny Dimes with four. Where's the Danny Dimes? Uh, oh, there. Um, oh, you know what? Did I not up? Does mine. Oh, I, I hadn't updated. That's why. So that that Dutch, that Wade Boggs, at 140. That's pretty cool. 140. And I thought authentic Red Sox helmet. Uh, Wade Boggs autographed helmet. Yeah, four left the Danny Dimes Platinum, if you're interested. If not, we'll carry it over tonight. Matt and I are back, as always, for our Saturday uh Game two of our day night doubleheader here at UA, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Four four spots left in the platinum for the Danny Dimes. We can always do personals. That mixer series again, just uh, getting going. We've done only what? We've done two boxes today. Did a personal? We did three or four because we're on kitchen mix. Oh right, we're on, we're on four. I'm sorry. Uh, kitchen sink multi mixer number four. So we've done maybe four today. Because one of the personals was a uh, was a mixer item, and the mixers. Uh, we have not we have not pulled any headliners yet, except for the Magic Johnson. The Magic last oh the map sorry the Magic was the first break of the day we did the Magic the trophy that's really cool. Yeah, Joe, right in the chat. Let's close out the Danny Dime before the afternoon show ends here. Four spots left in the authentic fifty three um, fifty three dollars per spot. Do you want to uh, throw the link in the chat for that? I can do that. Let's do that. Let me th I'll show uh, show. Uh, put the uh, the link in the chat if you're interested, if you're, if you're uh, just finding us. Also, I want to throw out, um, if anyone's interested in the Dutch auction um, and wants to throw a price at us, we uh, can negotiate with you a little bit, too, if you want. We can. If you're interested in that Wade Boggs, but the price is still like eh, a little high. Again, there are a couple scratches on it, but uh, the, the autograph is unblemished. It's uh, It's pretty cool. And we have a price we cannot go below or we'll get fired, uh, but we uh, we can negotiate. So if you're interested, I'll show it one more time while we're waiting for, hopefully that Danny Dodge or something else to fill up before we uh, call it an afternoon. We're only at, uh, well, we're at the hour 10 minute mark for our uh, Saturday matinee. Wade Boggs, five-time batting champ, class of uh, 2005 Hall of Fame, 12-time All-Star. Lots of hits, lots of women. <laughs> and apparently some beers. It's not a bad thing. Well, unless it's, a, yeah, yeah, you know, like any addiction, unless it becomes a problem. And apparently some booze. And some booze. You take it for 100. Matt, can we do 100 or no? Um, how about 110? Zach, would you do it for 110? How many years was Boggs a, a Yankee? Didn't I'm he win a guessing World? he did win a World Series with the Yankees. Four or five is my would be my guess. Played with Tampa as well. Did he play with the fourth team? Tampa, Red Sox, Yankees. Zach Nielsen, would you go one ten? Real helmet. Got a little scratch right by the. Um, the ear hole. And I tried, you know, we have guys in inventory here who will try to clean them up and see if they but couldn't get that. So it's a little scratch. But again, to me, I look at this. It's a cool helmet. Again, it's, it's a real helmet. He, he wants 110. You got a deal, Zach. Zach, it's yours. Go, go to the uh, UA live breaks. 110. 110. Matty will has to, has to mark it first. It should be updated. There you go, Wade Boggs, sweet man, Hall of Famer. I mean, one of the greatest uh, hitters, right? I mean, absolutely. Just a little over three thousand hits, but he, I mean, he was just a pure hitter. Love it, and that was the team he played the majority of his career with, Wade Boggs. Zach, thank you, brother. I think you're getting that. This is sweet. 
Man, if that was like a Ryan Sandberg Cubs off, I'm a big Cubs fan. 110, I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm doing that. I think you're, I think you're getting a deal here. Yeah, I mean, like I it's said. It's just cool. I think it's, those are the the helmets that they wear. So. Yeah. I think it's got the MLB logo on the back. Does? Yep. Good so, point, Matt. I think it's pretty, pretty legit. Yeah, normally, again, like some of these helmets, it's funny, like, I, I don't know if all the mini helmets we have have that. We just had one the other day. It was on a uh, Dutch auction item. It had the actual, on the mini helmet, mind you, warning this is a play item not to be worn on your head. I mean, unless you're going to put it on your chihuahua and then have the chihuahua play a little football game, not recommended. Uh, or your infant. Or, or, your in, or your infant, please, please. Um, yes. But it's funny that, that they would have the logo on the mini helmet that this is a toy not to be used uh, in actual yeah. game. So none of that on this. We uh, we pulled a Jim Palmer mini helmet last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. It was cool. Orioles. Mini Orioles uh, signed yeah. Jim Palmer helmet. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Look at Bob's got I've got three Cubs balls. Banks, Williams. Uh, those, those are the ones they have. Bob asked a good question in the chat last night. Do you, uh, you know the four pitchers who won 20 games? In the same season for the Orioles? Oh, Palmer, Mike Cuellar. Back in the day, I knew this, but now it's been so long. Hold on a minute. Palmer, Mike Cuellar. I'm thinking back to my old baseball cards from the 70s. Shoot. I knew this at one point, and now I have forgotten. Hold on. Did you, did you know any of these names? I, I did not, no. Darn it, Joe. This, this is one you should know. Every baseball fan should know this. This is like right in your time, too, wasn't it? It is. I mean, a little before my time, so right. what, 70? But I've got, I'm sure I've got, I know I've got all their baseball cards. Yeah. Um. Darn, I am drawing a blank. And I know I'm going to kick myself once I find the answer. What was the first one you said? Uh, Jim Palmer, yeah. Mike Cuellar, Dave McNally, and Pat Dobson. Darn it, Joe! Bob, one. great question. I yeah, I've got McNally and Dobson cards. Three left in uh, Danny Dimes. Great question. That, I mean, that's one of those trivia questions. As a baseball fan, you should know because yeah. this is it's a good one. That's a good one. So it was Palmer. What was the second one? Mike Cuellar. C U E L L A R. Mike Cuellar. McNally, Dave McNally, and Pat Dobson. Dobson, I was I could picture the face, but I kept thinking Doyle Alexander, but Doyle Alexander was later. And I, I don't even know if Doyle Alexander played with the Orioles, but uh, Pat Dobson was the guy I'm thinking of, was thinking of, and I couldn't think of his name. And then Dave McNally. I think I've heard of Dave McNally for sure. I'm not sure. All three of those guys might still be alive, too. Jim Palmer is definitely alive, though. Yes. I don't know about We're that. We're going to fill that Danny Dimes. Zach, I got your order, man. Appreciate it. It's nice doing business with you. Thank you, Zach. Really pre I think you got a, a great, great deal there. Are you looking it up? Yeah, Dave McNally. Oh, Dave McNally has passed. Oh, he has. Oh, wow. he, well, he passed in 2002. Oh, wow. Gosh, he died a young man. Let me see. Yeah, Dave McNally was only 60 when he passed in 2002. Wow. He was um, 184 and 119. 320, 20, uh, 324 career ERA. Oriole played, with, played one season with the Expos. Hmm, so he died young then, huh? Died young at 60, Dave McNally, 2002. And then Pat Dobson. Wow, he died, he died almost 20 years ago? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Pat Dobson. Well, Pat Dobson has also passed. Wow. When did he die? Pat Dobson died in 2006. He was, he was only 64. Wow. Yeah. Like, like he had a sub-500 record, career record. He was 122 and 129, 354 career ERA. Tiger, Padre, Oriole. Only played two years with the Orioles. Braves, Yankees, Indians. What about the other guy? Cuellar. You think he's alive? I, th I thought that all four <laughs> were alive, and now I'm finding out two have passed. So now I gotta check out my Quayar. I'm Don't tell me my Quayar is not with us anymore. I'm 100 percent sure Jim Palmer's still here. So yes, Palmer, because Palmer's on a lot of TV and yeah. My Quayar is also passed. Wow. I was so wrong on that. Wow. 
Gosh darn it. And that's sad. He died. He was 72. He passed away in 2010. Mike Cuellar. Wow. 72. So they've all been dead for a good amount of time. Yeah. Maybe that's why uh, Cuellar was 185 and 130. 314 ERA career. Reds, Cardinals, Astros, Orioles, and Angels. All right, now i got to look up Palmer. We know he's alive. Yeah, I know he's alive. I'm, I'm just wondering, like, how old is Jim Palmer? Palmer was always like, yeah, he was the underwear model. Bob, right? <laughs> he was. I'm still Palmer. He's still probably still a good-looking guy. Yeah, he's, he's 75. Phew. I think they're all alive. And then I find out, like, three of them are fast. Jim Palmer, six-time All-Star. So this is the mini helmet last night that was in the... Uh, uh-huh. Where did we get that? That's That's awesome. Three-time World Series champ with the Orioles. Three-time Cy Young winner. Four-time Gold Glove winner. Yeah, can do it all, man. Man, really cool. Spent his entire career with the Orioles. So do you see, in the because I, I looked up his stats last night, too. Do you see he played from 65 to 67? And then he, like... Yeah, and then didn't play a year. So I don't know uh, what happened in 68. Do you, do you think he got drafted or something? No, uh, no, I think that would have been... Um, I don't think they had... Where players were being pulled out. Do uh, you think he got hurt or something? He said Palmer returned uh, healthy in '69, so he must have been hurt. Okay. Yeah. So he, he just missed a year with injury. Two left in the Danny Dimes. Let's do it. There's actually one left now. One left now. One spot left in the Platinum. That might be our last break of the day, but I think we got we got to sell it out. Sold the Dutch, Wade Boggs helmet. But yeah, I mean, during back in the day, like in the 40s, you, players would get drafted and had to go to war. Yes. Right? So. Yeah, I mean, Ted Williams, all those guys. Didn't, didn't matter who you were. Right. You got drafted, you were going. That's it. One left, the Danny Dimes platinum helmet. So you think they got rid of that for uh, Vietnam or Korea? Because they had the draft in Korea because my grandma got drafted in Korea. Okay. So I, maybe Vietnam. I don't remember any players missing... Again, I was, I mean, I was born in '64, um, so I don't remember that. We're even hearing stories of guys who missed seasons, like in the late okay. '60s. Bob, do you remember any of that? Because Bob's uh, a little older than me. Mini helmet series dropping tonight. New mini helmet series. What are we naming it? Um, try it over here. Let me look at it. We got the box in the room. Electric athletes. I have no idea what that means. We'll find out. I'll find out. All right, electric. Ready. I just know I would assume they're electric. They're really good. It's ready for you. Bang. Oh, Bob, Maddie was wondering if any guys were uh, drafted for, um, in the late 60s, that would have missed playing time. Because Jim Palmer, in his stats, it said he played from, like, 65 to 67, and then he started playing again in, like, 69. Okay. It's like, obviously, Joe said he got hurt, but I'm just wondering if getting drafted, if you got drafted, you had to go. I mean, for World War II, Korea, you had to go. I just was wondering if... When did they? Because obviously Ali was famous for right for not, not, not going for not going for Vietnam. So yeah, Bob says I know there were many World War II in Korea. Not sure about Vietnam. I'm okay. thinking the same thing. That's all I. That's all I had for Matt. All right, we got. Uh, we need a box number here for the uh, Danny Dimes. We got three in the room. We're randomizing this list eight times: five, six, seven, and eight. About a box number here, and we'll do this. Danny Dines, thanks for filling it out, everyone. Appreciate that. Joey's got four spots here. Dylan's got two. And uh, Christopher Wells and Dave Harris. About a box number, gentlemen. The boxes uh, for the platinum for the uh, Danny Dines, I've got uh, 26, 34, and 35. 26, 34, and 35. On the Danny Dimes for the Platinum. Anybody? 
What do you say, Joe? You got four spots here, man. You got half the break. You want to call on a box? First guy in, Dylan, Christopher, Dave Harris. Joey, man, you were uh, trying to get people to buy into this, so not call a box. What do you number. say? 26, 34, and 35. For the box for the uh, Danny Dimes Platinum Helmet break. Live break number one this afternoon. Nobody? Boys. Joe, there you go. 34. Walter Payton, Earl Campbell box. There you go. 34. That's what I would have called. Oh, I can just reach it from the top. <laughs> let, him, let him not 5'7. I would have needed a stool. 5'9. I think we might have to get the stool in here anyway. We might have to. Matthew's might a little stool. 34 out of 50. I still remember when my daughter, she's 18 now, when she was little, we had a little stool like so she could reach the sink downstairs. We still have it there, just because it's kind of cute. <laughs> but then, like, she got so big, she didn't need the stool. It's like... Not that probably happened at your house, too. Probably. I said, remember, when he, remember when little Maddie couldn't reach the dresser drawer? And now he's all big and he's grown up. <laughs> I'm sure you were like that one that one time. Probably. <laughs> we all were. Uh, Beckett, COA. We have a NFC North hit. It's a Packer. It's Amon Green. With his uh, 2003 NFL Offensive Player of the Year inscription. Or he just abbreviates, abbreviates it. NFL OPOY. There you go. Speed, authentic. This is that uh, sparkly Packers uh, lid. Helmet, not a lid. A lid is the cap, like Garrett and Donnie wear sometimes on the show. Uh, this is Dave Harris with the uh, NFC North. Joey, sorry, brother. You had four spots there. And uh, Dave Harris sneaks in back door. He had the closer magic. He did. Dave Harris with the I'm on green. Sorry, Joey. But congrats to Dave Harris. Bob says he missed the draft by one year. Whew. Wow. That's, uh... I mean, I remember being in high school, late 70s, early 80s, and there was talk about that, and I remember having that, like, gosh, what if I get drafted? My buddies and I, we talked about that. And then they never instituted it then, but that was there was talk, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's a beautiful auto by Amon Green. Nice helmet there. Even uh, this Bears fan will admit that. Sorry, Joe. I, I feel your faint pain, brother. Joe, I'm done. Joe, you come back. Crazy. That happens again. One of the mixers, right? Uh, who was it that won the mixer? They had one spot. Yeah. Danny Dimes. Sometimes it just, sometimes that's the way it goes, unfortunately. That yeah, was. Yeah, Chris Gibbs had one spot in the uh, kitchen sink mixer number three, one the Montgomery. And Stanhope had five. Matt and I were, st <laughs> I think I initiated the conversation, like, is this Henry Aaron helmet, helmet, the Henry Aaron jersey is in this series. I'm thinking, man, I would. I don't know if I would buy an entire break, but maybe I'd go five or six spot because you really, you know, but then you don't know which break it is, so it can uh it can really mess with you. But yeah. the Aaron jersey, what a what a hit that's gonna be for somebody. I just hope it doesn't go retail. No offense to anyone who purchases it retail, but I want to see it open on camera. I want to see that Henry Aaron jersey open during a uh a broadcast here. I uh whether it's me, Garrett, Donnie. I want to see it, because that's going to be a great moment, yeah, whoever wins that. Yeah. Bob's got a 500 home run ball, 12 auto. My. That's that's probably where, some things, I, I don't know, I, like some things I have, like I don't even want to, I can just, I want to keep it forever. Something like that's got to be really cool. We got a personal. Got a personal. Brian Murray. What's up, Brian? 
Mantle and Williams. Oh. I forgot to put this on uh, Danny Dimes. For Dave Harris. Past and present jersey for Ryan Murray. We have lots of boxes on those. Ryan, you want to call in a box? Or not call in a box, but you want to select a box number? We have uh, the past and present. We got in the room, we got 26, 28, 29, 33, and 34. It goes up to 50. Actually, it goes up to 60. It goes up to 60. We have tons, tons in the room. Yeah, the Air Auto uh, is, is a good autograph, by the way. On top of it just being. He could just write H. It'll be cool to say Henry Aaron. But he's got a nice auto because back then guys actually signed their entire name and every letter you could read. Willie Mays, not so much. Interesting. Ryan, are you in the chat? Ryan Murray, you want to uh, give us a box number? We'll do the uh, the personal here for past and present on the uh, jersey. 44. Let me see if I got 44, Ryan. I got a ton in here. 44. Hold on. I got it. 44. Oh, 44, Hank Aaron. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 44, Ryan. This is the football jersey, so it's, we know it's not going to be Hank Aaron, but 44. Ryan, thank you for purchasing it, brother. Purchasing it, brother, is what I meant to say. I gotta slur my words here a little bit. 44. Football jersey. This is uh, comes with the JSA COA. We have for Ryan Murray, we have uh, Christian Okoye. Chiefs. Does he have the Nigerian? He doesn't have the Nigerian Nightmare uh, inscription on it, but it's still pretty cool. Christian Okoye, who wore number 35. Former Chiefs running back. That's a thread, not a ink. Uh, <laughs> what is that? I hope that's not a pen mark. Uh, Christian Okoye there for you, Ryan. Hope you enjoy that. That's it. Yeah, it's one of the best nicknames. I always say this every time we pull an Okoye memorabilia item. Uh, one of the best nicknames uh, in NFL history, right? You can't beat that, right, mm -hmm. Matt? Yeah. Chiefs. Brown Davis Little S U. All right, guys. Matt, are we? Uh, how we doing? Anything close? No. Well, so I think we're probably going to call it an afternoon. Yeah. We fold that up. Gentlemen, ladies, it's been a fun afternoon. We'll give it a last call here. Last call for any personals, or are we close on anything, Matt? Probably. Now I think it slowed down a little bit. It did, yeah. We're back tonight, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Everything, um, what we do, we still have, do we still have one jersey left? We do. It's right by my, uh, on the side of the desk here. One left in the uh, Flag Day jersey. Yeah. One we, left. We will have a uh, mini series ready for tonight, so. Uh, yes. We got some cool stuff. We got the kitchen sink mixer, which has, we've been talking about, Hank Aaron, and all this cool stuff going on. Um, and then we'll have a brand new series ready for you tonight. So stay tuned. All right. Um, all right, Bob, see you tonight. Thanks for uh, for joining us. Thanks, Bob. Going to go watch golf. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a great watch idea. some U.S. Open golf. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan Murray. Gentlemen, again, thank you again, Matt. Uh, we're at uh, an hour and a half mark here for our Saturday afternoon here at Ultimate Autographs yep. in our live break studio. Back again tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
We will uh, see you then. Sound good, Matt? Sounds good. Thank you, Matt. Great job. Yeah, you too, Joe. We'll see you soon. Thanks, man. We'll see you tonight, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. For Matt, I'm Joe. Have a good rest of your afternoon, everyone. Peace. So long.